Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 463. My name is Ajay Parmar and in this video today we are going to talk about the count ifs and the sum ifs. And before you pause the video or before you skip the video, hang on. Hang on guys. I'm not going to talk about the normal count ifs and sum ifs. Uh, there are two reasons for that because I, ha I had already uh, you know uploaded the videos on same and moreover these are very basic functions and I think being a MIS person you already you know I, I assume that you must be knowing those functions but anyways there is a playlist on my channel uh, the playlist name is Excel uh, count and sum family you can go and check out those videos if you don't have any idea about it but today in this video I'm going to talk something else there is a you know uh, one step uh, ahead we are actually now uh, moving and uh, uh, we would like to talk about the array forms of the count if and the sum if and this is really really very cool super cool option you should know that because if you're working in MIS most of the time you know we uh, the, the most favorable I think uh, the favorite formulas of any MIS person would be in terms of using it you know <laughs> index we look up if and then count if and the sum ifs right so let's start this and this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash Kumar Parmar if you are if you have landed up just now on the channel I welcome you I greet you and I can bet that you're not going to be disappointed once you go through all the channel videos right so as always uh, I want to actually first of all talk about the training uh, this is the training the playlist which you see on my channel this this is the sequence you can follow all the sequence if you're looking for the excel vba or for the excel and access front end and access vba right so we're going to talk about the access in the coming times more because i see that we don't have much of the videos there but we will definitely go and talk about that and one more thing uh, i got an update so i'm sharing it with all of you if you if you haven't received any notifications if you have stopped receiving the notifications on my you know this channel uh, the videos or be it any other channel uh, I think uh, now um, I, I just you know uh, was surfing the YouTube and I, I saw that that now the YouTube actually is what they are doing is um, there is a bell you know the icon on on this uh, on the page the front page of the you know uh, a person uh, with you know who uh, with whom actually channel you you are you, you are subscribed so for example if you are subscribed to my channel you have to go to my main page and there you find this bell icon just click on that bell icon and you will be you know subscribe to the notifications otherwise you will not receive the notifications you will not receive the messages on the gmail that i have uploaded the video this is what i have actually got to know but if you are receiving the emails that's okay the moment you stop receiving you know you can always go and hit on this bell button right so that's it for now uh, this is i wanted to talk about it uh, you know uh, this because a lot of you keep on emailing me that you don't uh, know how to start and because there are so many videos so i i am trying to say this in my every video in the beginning so now let's go to the real topic so now what actually we are going to do today is uh, i'm going to actually have uh, you know two questions for you and you can see that this is a very dummy database where we have the team leaders executive short calls and position now what i want to do is if you look at the read the question number one what it says what are the total short calls taken by alan and ravi team so basically i'm looking for the total calls you know and these are the total calls for every actually executive and then above the executive there is actually team leader and we want to find out now i know that you would say that um, ajay this is going to be pretty cool um, you know this can be done simply with the, with the help of the summary function uh, we can use the sum is sum is as well uh, but if I just use the summary function then you know I give the range and the criteria and the sum range so obviously you will have to use this sum if actually twice isn't it first of all you go here and then you select the range and you you know you write here Alan and then you press uh, then you press comma and then you go to the sum range and in the sum range you're going to select the this short call and you press enter and this is where you know what we got as the Allen's number of the short calls so if I just see that this is 11 plus 5 plus 1 and it makes sense now again you will do the plus sign and you you know you will start writing the sum if and this time the criteria will change to Ravi but no, hang on this is the old method now right Excel is changing we all are supposed to change like I also have changed I'm also trying to gain the knowledge because I just can't you know see myself just you know 
you know, on the on the you know uh, on the position where actually from where I'm not improving, I can't see myself as a stagnant you know body that uh, every time I give you the same knowledge again and again. So guys, you know, it's all about reading the books, reading the uh, internet, and you know, uh, always try to enhance your knowledge. I recently learned a very beautiful, very very interesting tip that you don't have to do. You know, use the two summits. What you can do is instead of doing this, you know, what you will do is backspace it right now you already have the range now in this range what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the criteria and i'm going to put the criteria both here with the curly bracket so you write here in the quotes alan and then again you put the comma and then you write here in the double quotes again the ravi right and just make sure you should put the curly bracket close the curly brackets now the curly brackets generally they are always known for the arrays and this exactly is the array this is going to be the array function right now when you press comma you you are actually on the sum range so you have to select the sum range which is obviously you know is going to be a short calls because sum is always sum range is always going to be numeric right now when i press enter see what happens now this actually says 17 and you must be thinking that this is what exactly i was getting previously also right but guys hang on I'll tell you one thing. Go to the equals to sign and press F9 shortcut key. And the moment you press F9, you will have 17 and 13. Now, what is 13? Obviously, needless, you know, needless to say, it's actually the sum of the Ravi, which is 8 plus 5, right? So this is what you have in the arrays. Now, what you need to do is you just need to use this sum, and you just need to close this bracket. And now you just press, you know. A simple enter you can also press control shift enter that's okay but you will actually get the sum of this you know alan and ravi if you want to add more values you can simply go and put the criteria here you know again you put this and let's say you want to add the aman as well so you can write the aman and put it in double quotes and press enter and look at this guys you got the 73 and i think this is actually you know uh, this should be the total uh, of you know the, the number of the total calls so we have the uh, Alan and we have the Ravi and so I'm just going to calculate it so this is the last one which is left right so we have the 73 answer you can see here right so this is wonderful now what is happening so basically if you have to explain this to somebody I know it's very easy to write it you can remember it but as I said you don't have to remember it understand the logic so what happens sum if is always known as a and function whenever you write the sum if okay now in this case i'm uh, i'm not going to talk about the actually uh, the sum if i'm let me talk about the sum if because uh, through the sum if also you can do it now guys in here you know you when you put the criteria range one criteria one and then dot 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 you know you get to see here so many criteria now you know that if you know the sum if or sum if they work on the and condition every criteria if you're going to put it is supposed to be true. So if you have, if you are putting four criteria and all those four, four criteria from the different different headers are going to be true, only then you will have the sum, you know, uh, whatever the range you have would have selected for to calculate that total, right? But this is not the and. This is actually the or. So basically, we are using the the combination of sum if with or, right? This is what exactly we are doing it, right? So always remember this how to put the curly brackets and then just make sure you should also put the sum at the end of this you know before the sum so that it can sum because it works as an array right now let's go to the second question obviously uh, let's talk about the second question let me remove the equals to sign from here so that you know you you, you can see this uh, the formula so let me just cut this and maybe i can paste it here so this is the formula in front of you right so you can see that formula all right now what is the next question the next question is how many executives hold executive position from team and among team okay so we are saying that how many executives how many positions we have you know how many executives uh, have this position called uh, you know executive uh, position is also same uh, we call it executive so they they have the let's say the executive position and we want to count them from the team and the among team now how will you use it i know that you're going to say that count if and then or maybe you can use the count ifs as well let's use the count if this time because i have multiple criteria so you're going to actually uh, you know put this criteria range one and then here in the criteria one you're going to write here um 10 isn't it and then in the second criteria range you're going to pick up this and now you're going to write here executive isn't it so you're going to write here executive and then just close the bracket now how many people we have got in we have got just one 
person right is it correct so let me check for the team so in the team team basically we have only two people one is the senior executive and the executive so if i just copy and paste this here the answer is changing so the formula is working guys now obviously i have to calculate for the aman as well now again i don't have to you know tell you this you will i know you will simply copy this and you will plus this and you will add it here and instead of this team you're going to change this to aman you know that's how it is going to work and then you press enter so we have got three people from team and aman in total who actually you know holds the position of executive level but now if i have to do this without adding all these count ifs now we can do one thing guys you know what again okay, i'm just going to write here start the curly bracket what is my criteria my criteria is tim so let me write the tim and then let's go to the next criteria what is the next criteria aman put it within the double quotes make sure you put it within the double quotes my friends because this is the text right so I close this curly bracket i know curly bracket must be a new thing for you right but you know what if you if you don't know the arrays i don't think so you are a complete excel you know person because arrays are very very powerful you must go ahead and watch the one of my favorite playlist on excel arrays uh, the name of that is excel uh, arrays the most powerful formulas in excel go and watch there i think there would be around 10 to 15 videos there start watching all these videos in a sequence sequence uh, which is mentioned there right um, don't actually pick up the videos randomly once you click on that you will see their list of the videos and start watching from the top if you don't have any information about the arrays otherwise you can randomly pick up the videos so you learn that you know these curly brackets they are just not the curly bracket <laughs> they, they do a lot of things right they can drastically change the atmosphere right they can do a lot of lot of wonders like in, in 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 this case particularly you can see that they are doing so many things they are actually adding as a or not not just the and, and condition so now i have written here our uh, team aman and i think my criteria is already full now i just go to the next criteria and in the criteria range two now i'm going to actually pick up this i'm going to pick up this sorry for the background noise if you're if you're hearing any noise and so now in this the criteria range two i'm simply going to write here executive so I just go and write executive, right? That's it. And once I'm done with this, I guess we are done. And I just go and press enter. You get here too. And if I go here and expand the formula using the F9 after the equals to sign, you see that you got here two and one. So that means you have to use the sum function here as well to sum that. And you know, this is what we were getting previously as well. Isn't it exciting? I think this is cool. You don't have to use the you know plus plus again and you can simply use the curly bracket and just don't forget to use this sum right now we can also uh, create the ranges at uh, the knee managers this is also a good tip for example if i just tell you that i i you know the same answer let's say i create here uh, i want to find the alan and ravi team so i just write here alan and ravi you select this and go here and let's create some criteria so let's say i write here a uh, short calls Let's say this is what I write, short calls range. Or maybe I can write here, uh, let's say, uh, S uh, short calls and RNG or criteria. Let's say I write CRI, right? Press enter. Make sure that the criteria is done. The name manager is created. I, I click here and it selects that. Now what we can do is, if I just go back to the question number one, this is the question number one. If you remember, this is what, let me just give it a, some color. So this is this actually, uh, you know, the formula we have written. Now, if I just go and uh, try to write this function again, and by the way, let me just go ahead and remove the equals to sign from this as well. So this is also the another formula. I want you to have a look here and you can see that how it is working when you practice, right? So this is your, the second question. This is your first question. This is your second question. I'm coming back to the first question again, but this time I will use the knee manager. So I write here, let's say uh, I'm going to use this, this uh, you know, this time sum if. So I write the sum if. What is the sum range? So this time the sum range is going to be this, right? Again, you can also create a range for this as well, right? Uh, instead of selecting this D2 to D15, that is also there. You can do that. Criteria range one. So this is my criteria range one right and now in the criteria one what i'm supposed to do is i will simply select you know these two values and you see that it says short calls criteria so i mean you can also write this that's not the problem obviously you will write it you know you see that the moment you write sh 
this name manager is going to be shown up automatically so once I have written that and I just go and press enter and now if I go and press F9 I get to see 17 and 13 and which makes sense right so I just go and add them so you see that you can also create the criteria if you're not fond of writing again and again you what you can do is you can also simply uh, you know put this uh, uh, the name managers in the formula itself and the formula will work for you but please notice one thing when I have added this as a name manager you know this name manager the moment I press enter right so what happens when you when you if I, if I just go and remove this for example I remove this I press enter and when I press here F9 I get to hear, uh, see his 17 and 13 so now when I write his sum and I just close the bracket I press enter it says 0 right it says 0 so I have to add them I have to add I have to press control shift enter remember because this is formula is going to work as an array right so if you, if you go to the previous this uh, the question number one uh, when we didn't actually created any name manager we just used the Alan Ravi and Aman if you remember I when I pressed equals to you know here I'm not actually adding any any sort of control shift enter though I can add it I mean I can press control shift enter because Aris works like that as well that's okay but even if you don't if you just simply press enter it will work but in the case of this name manager uh, I some somehow you know I, I feel I have realized that this is not going to work with the simple enter right so that is why I'm telling you that when you create the name manager you just go and use the control shift enter so I go here and press control shift enter and that's what I get to see here so this is the formula guys let me just do the format painter so that you can have a look on this formula as well so these are the formulas which which I have built and you can have a you know close look here let me just remove the equals to sign so these are the two you know uh, three formulas basically this and this remains the same the only difference is that here we uh, instead of Alan Ravi Aman we created the name range for Alan and Ravi you can create for Aman as well that's okay and this is uh, you know another function where we basically try to uh, you know use the count ifs right so we counted the things here we actually summed up the values right so next time when you use the sum if and the count ifs please remember these tips they are very useful and as being a HR person or being a finance person I think you would be using these functions a lot because you guys most of the time revolve around the money so I think this is going to help you a lot so that's it for now guys and uh, I hope you will like this video and do subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.